Hi, I'm Book the Wind. Welcome to. I'm gonna play nine holes. Uh, we're on tour difficulty right now. We're gonna play six holes, I think, on tour difficulty, three on pro. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to get better at the game. I'm gonna show you by uh, playing and describing what I'm doing, so you can get good at the game. You will get better after watching this. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Alright, so if your character has power drive, use it pretty much every hole by pressing right button on Xbox. I don't know what it is on other consoles, but gives you an extra 10 yards. You can use it unlimited. So we don't have any power boost or spin, so it's just a swing. I pull it back straight back with my thumb. I do not ever look at the controller. I only use one finger. And I pull it back and I look to the meter. And when it gets to the top, the full past the line maximum, I let it rip. And while I might not hit as many fairways, I'm getting extra distance. If you get extra distance, it's going to be easier. The rough isn't that punishing on this game, especially with short clubs. So here's a here's an interesting shot right to start things off. Okay, it's 63 yards. If you hear 60, do not use pitch. Pitch is tough to control so you're going to cycle to finesse and use your 60 degree wedge now using the the, the the thumb stick you can go up or back go back as much as you can so it's there's like no wind it's uphill four feet so it pretty much is this thing now you look at the top line up the blue line so it at least touches the white line and then you put factor in the wind. The wind's not a factor. So now I'm going to hit it just past the line. I'm going to try to anyways. Same thing. Straight back. A little bit past the line. Flick it. So you go past the hole. It's going to spin back. And it's going to be reasonable. Okay. Six feet you got to factor in. It didn't spin back that much. Because we're only 60 yards out. But look, we have a we have a six foot putt for birdie. Tour difficulty. Now reading this is going to be tough because um, the lines can move fast and it doesn't break much. You can move a little and break a lot. So you have to just kind of look at the green texture. Simulation actually seems like it wouldn't be that tough on this game and be kind of helpful. Either way, we start off with the birdie. Same thing. Hit the power drive. Now, when we full max it out, we're going to get an extra like 10 yards carry. So... This bunker is never going to come into play. Just keep that in mind. Even into the wind a little bit. Just hold it. Get to the max. Let it go. Now we're going to draw it into the rough. Gonna miss the okay. So after the birdie at one, we carried it 333. Uh, it My character is upgraded is. a bit. Uh, he have a decent so now when you see that it's 88 to 99%. Count it as 99%. Into the wind, up two feet. So we just wanted to throw it just past the pin. A little to the right side since it's a side wind. And just try to hit the line. Using that finesse again. This time, it didn't, uh, it went full Pretty too far. We go. Fair Stay enough. Okay. Yeah, Gives us a, a chance to have a real right putt. And we're going back up the slope, but just ever so slightly. If the lines are going so like this, I like to throw it out line. here a bit. We're not going to miss by much. Just make sure you have the weight right. It says 26 feet to the hole, up one inch. So you want 27 or 28. Let's get it to the line, learn the timing, flick it. Nah, that 
Pace was okay, We're gonna miss putts because it's tour difficulty. Right. We kind of hit a poor shot on our second. Okay, Not that's super poor. For a par. We kind of caught a flyer. It's okay. On the Make it par. Par five on the course on. here at TPC Scottsdale. Yeah, par five, finally something really different. Changed. Uh, it used to be two fairway bunkers down the left. Now there's only one. Still a hazard that runs Do down the, the same right thing. side. A strategic it's hole repetitive. if you can make the par five and two. But it's and a also brand new quite green fun. that has been completely changed. You carry three twenty nine. That is into the fairway. Six. Two of five. So now this is where things get a little more interesting. So if you if you were hitting, let's just say for example, a three iron, it would go like two seventy because it just runs. The flatter the club, the more it runs. It just as soon as it hits the green, it just skyrockets. It's just part of the game. So you got to learn that long irons run out a lot more. This is an interesting one because we want to hit it on the shelf, obviously. So we can't really go for the pin here. So we're going to aim to the right just a little. We want it on the green, though, still, because you don't want to chip on this game. You really don't. It's 205, we're using 198, so we're taking less. And we're gonna chip. Normally they stick a T in one end and a flag in the other. You're it's nothing you can control there, I don't think. Completely like, took the green it's gonna go sometimes more That's right, sometimes stuff. it was gonna end up left. Sure in the green, sometimes it's gonna be right on the plateau. For chipping, you always wanna chip it about half the distance. So we got eight yards. So we're looking at four. We're just gonna try to read it as a putt. You can still see it's a little right to left. So we're just aiming a little right left, halfway. Let it roll out. Oh, yeah. And then I mean, boom goes the dynamite. Just get it to you. Okay. So half the distance right is a there. decent, is an eagle. decent little now thing for chipping. Four. Frank, what's the setup here? Plays a little downhill, so it won't play its full. So now we hit to a par three. Yards. Perhaps uh, take one club off the uh, decision. And a club down. The green, as so you this can is see one of the fun parts. Than what it was deep. So it, um, the up eight now feet, is, uh, playing about... 175 one there if you come up a and we're using a 165 club downwind two so it's like 168 so we're just gonna go a little bit more than full flick it straight good chance at one we're trying to be as precise as possible land it before the hole bounce okay, up get it as close as we can we don't want to be 30 40 feet, feet especially on tour difficulty it just comes down to luck to making putts. This is still a tough putt. It looks kind of flat, so we're just gonna, for some reason I'm thinking right edge, right center, I mean. Gonna miss it by a touch. You don't get as many lip outs on this game, but you do get lip outs, but you'll still miss the hole. Lot more often. Heading now to the 470 yards. Something to learn. I'm not the best the putter, but I'm getting better. And the approach Sometimes I go on a sick roll. Right Sometimes I don't. Trouble. <clears throat> Making an approach over a wash. 460 par four. Again, switch to power drive. <clears throat> Full rip. Get a nice little bounce. <clears throat> Second shot. Good look at the green. So this one is kind of just fly it right at the stick. 106. So this is a 100-yard full approach 60-degree wedge. Okay, so this is going to come back like 30 feet. So ideally you go 108. 109 here so we're gonna hit this like a full rip 
60. We're just going to line it up a little. Make sure the blue line touches the white line a bit. We're going to overswing. So we're going to throw it like 7 or 8 yards past. 108. Let it come back. It could have came back more. The green's a little softer and slower on this course, I guess. This a little under That's on me to learn to adjust. Next time I'll throw it 106, maybe. This looks like right edge. So we're just going to bang it in. Get her birdie. That's going to move him to four under to his first five holes. Here now six tall. Par, par four, 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 four four thirty two. Both sides of the so again, fairway. we're going to be... And the birdie is a this is one of those things that if you just hit your normal drive, the bunkers are in play. If you switch to power drive and then over swing, bunkers are not in play. Not at all. Hold it back straight. Hand side. Flick it. Sometimes you're going to be left. Sometimes you're going to be left right. Now that was 50, 55 50 yards. Kind of sucks. I guess it was more than 50 50. Fairway's fine. If we tried the finesse, it's 63. And I told you it's better than pitch because pitch you have to land short of the hole and it'll release like 10 yards. And you don't, it's tough to control. Like if we use pitch right now, you want to just land it just maybe on the fringe. And when you're starting to get into like that kind of precision, it's tough to get close. So what we're going to do is line it up and we're going to take a little off of it. not our best again okay, not the greens there. i'm not factoring in that they're kind of he's been soft on this front side so they're not this coming Robert. back as much as other other courses i've played this one looks like a little more right to left so we're gonna go a full cup or so out yeah, pour it right in the center concentration there. so that's and six holes we tried right. with uh Tour difficulty for five under. Nine, this is the seventh hole. Trying to teach you to get better. What a stiff par three because of the narrowness in the front. So let's uh, really favoring see if we switch the settings here. Okay, yeah, you can, yeah, open you up can switch it in place. So we're going to switch to pro. The wider it gets. Uh, apply changes. We're playing quick play. This isn't career or anything, so we're just doing default. So this is a tough hole. Now, would I do anything different? You could maybe power up a six iron here. That's the only use for using the power boost. Otherwise, no, what actually I think it is. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna power boost by hitting the left button and holding it back. And we kind of overpowered it. And now we're going to press the spin button to the right. Uh, and we overpowered it. I was, I knew when I, stay, but it'll make its way into I that rough know what I did. Of the green. That's right. So it's a 10 yard chip. Use the halfway there. It's kind of moving left, right, but the wind's kind of going right to left. So it's kind of in the middle. I go left edge. Kind of kicked to the right on us. Overshot it. Well, Frank, this is a case where a par is going to feel like an eagle if he's able Should've to get went this just done. barely on the green. It, That's my mistake. Pump. But they here's the like thing. When the you're on pro, bit. you get a line. Now, here's a tip for the line. You kind of want to line it up, but you also want to look at the hole. You see where the line ends? Right now, it's lined up for the center. So just trust the line. Now, if the line ends at the left edge, factor that in. So maybe take a little, that's, that line that you're going to go is going to take you to the left edge of the cup if you hit it on the right speed and right line. So move a little to the right if it's left edge is a good tip. 
You always want to try to aim for the center. You don't want to lip out because you trust the line too much. So 458. The difference here is power boost. So you're going to mash it while doing your same swing. Now, it takes a little bit to get used to. It's, it's super weird to be doing this. And then it, here's the difference when you're on pro. You can spin it to the left or try to sometimes. It uh, really spins hard and it just bounces right left and, and keeps you in the wall. fairway. Big hit though. So we still ended up on the edge, so there's not that the much of an advantage, I would say. So here you want to hit about two yards past the hole, factoring in it's 88 to 99. But it seems to play like 99 all the time, so just two yards past. No power boost. And then if it's looking short, try to spin up. Always Again, a good shot in the rough, I play but better on tour, I guess. So that's a good right now, shot. it seems, but now this for another birdie. Okay, so this, this putt is kind of weird. Slope, but other than that, it, I don't you putt it out straight, it comes right out this. right, then it finishes to the left. Now, if you see, I'm already aiming past the hole, so the game are automatically does it for you. So you don't have to put the additional five inches further. You don't have to go further, so just uh, trust it, I guess. Try to hit the line exactly. And we overhit it. Something I could have factored in there, it did look like they uh, put put you out more than five inches. So if we have more power, it's not going to come back to the left at the end as much. So maybe adjust the power manually. And uh, try to factor in little things like that. Try one more hole. I'm definitely losing my voice. But I'm just trying to give you little tidbits. A little insight how I play the game. That one gonna split the I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm well. currently it's ranked good, second shot. So in the world in tournaments right now. This is second. So I just wanted to brag. <laughs> just kidding. Sorta. All right. So if you're headed to the left, just spin it to the right. You're not going to sink it, but you're just going to, I don't know, keep it within 10 feet. If it, if it's straight enough, just trust it, full, full hit, and that's how you play nine holes of golf. Let me know if you have more questions or anything. I'm just trying to help people get better at this game, enjoy it more. Hope I helped you and uh, take care.